AI Nexus. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's true. ChatGPT can officially hear, see, and speak. What's crazy is that I knew this would eventually come to fruition. However, I didn't expect the technology advancement this soon. And as you can always expect from the AI Nexus, we're going to break the entire update down for you, so you understand exactly what just rolled out. From the exact features soon to be released, to a digestible walkthrough of the technology they use to achieve this, we've got it all covered. Alex Shepard here, everyone. How exciting is this? I know it's a little scary, maybe even shocking, but if you think about it, this is an absolute trip. We're finally giving AI eyes, ears, and a mouth. Now, I know we've had some previous attachments that can make it so ChatGPT can quote-unquote talk, but this is the next big push. All right, let's not waste any time there and dive right into the new features that OpenAI just rolled out with ChatGPT. They introduced two pretty insane features in ChatGPT, which include voice and image capabilities. These provide a fresh and intuitive way to interact with ChatGPT, enabling you to engage in voice conversations and visually share your ideas or concepts with the AI. We're going to start with the voice command feature, but the new image capabilities I still am trying to wrap my head around and it's pretty insane. Starting with voice commands, which is the hear and speak capability they referred to. This remarkable breakthrough allows users to engage with ChatGPT using their voice, eliminating the need for laborious typing. Imagine the convenience this brings to a wide array of scenarios, making AI more accessible and user-friendly than ever before. According to Sam Altman, this feature is meant to provide the ability to have a voice conversation with ChatGPT. As for responding to your voice commands, ChatGPT is taking things up a notch by introducing five distinct voices for users to choose from, all according to your preferences. What's even more impressive is that OpenAI has collaborated with professional voice actors to craft each of these unique voices. Take a look at the example they provided demonstrating these capabilities. We want to hear a bedtime story. Tell us a story about the super duper sunflower hedgehog named Larry. Start with telling us a little bit about him. Larry was a unique hedgehog unlike any other. He had bright sunflower petals instead of spines. Residing in Meadowville, Larry spread joy and color wherever he wrote. This new voice command feature is powered by a new text-to-speech model, which we'll cover in more detail here later. As for use cases, OpenAI is quite bullish on how applicable this new capability could be. And I'm not going to lie, I don't disagree. Now you can speak with ChatGPT on the go. You can, on demand, request it to read a bedtime story to your children, or you're in the middle of a heated family dinner time debate and need a quick fact check. Alex Shepard here again, AI Nexus. All right, now that we've got the voice commands down, we're going to jump into something truly amazing. Before I dive into all of it, let me just tell you my takeaway. Imagine being an artist who's terrible at writing, and let's say you have an amazing story you want to tell, but you can only do it visually. Potentially, you could take those images and give them to ChatGPT and have a full-blown vocal conversation about those images, carefully crafting a cohesive narrative and story for your own fantasy land. That's kind of amazing. All right, now let me take the deep dive into the second feature they rolled out, the image identification capabilities. And as I've already told you, this one is insane. Now, with ChatGPT, the possibilities have expanded. You can effortlessly share one or more images to enhance your interaction. Whether you need help troubleshooting why your grill won't ignite, want to sift through your fridge's contents for meal planning, or delve into the intricacies of a complex graph or work-related data, ChatGPT is up for the task. And here's the neat part. If you need to zero in on a specific aspect of an image, you can do so effortlessly using the drawing tool available in their mobile app. Okay, but what fuels this remarkable image understanding capability? It's all thanks to the formidable synergy of multimodal GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. These advanced models harness their exceptional language reasoning skills to decipher a diverse range of visual content, be it photographs, screenshots, or documents that combine both text and images. Combine this with the voice command capabilities we've already mentioned, and the potential with ChatGPT becomes immense. OpenAI's blog included some pretty insane use cases that could very well transform how we conduct our daily lives. For example, imagine this. While traveling, you can snap a picture of a captivating landmark and engage in a live conversation, delving into its fascinating details. Back at home, you can simply photograph your fridge and pantry to effortlessly plan your dinner, even asking for step-by-step -step recipes with follow-up questions. And after a satisfying meal, assisting your child with a math problem becomes a breeze. Just take a photo, circle the problem, and let ChatGPT provide helpful hints for both of you to conquer the challenge. All right, enough of me telling you how this tool works. Let me just show you the example OpenAI put out. Now, 
Now, as impressive as these tools are, how did OpenAI pull this off? Many of you might just kind of go, hey, you know, it's OpenAI, big company, lots of power, creating innovative artificial intelligence. But I'm telling you right now, if you let me walk you through the technology powering these new features, you're bound to find this fascinating. Hear me out on the technical aspects here, because this background will be useful in our conversation immediately following. Did we just get closer to AGI or not? So for the technical juices, first OpenAI had to figure out a way to get spoken words transcribed into a text format. To do so, they partnered with a company called Whisper, an open source speech recognition system, to turn spoken words into written text. They did this by using Whisper's API, which is like a set of tools that Whisper provides for developers. It's like giving them the right ingredients and instructions to cook a particular dish. To use this Whisper API, developers need to give it an audio file containing spoken words. Whisper listens to this audio and magically transforms it into written text, like turning a song into lyrics. It's like having a robot secretary that takes dictation. OpenAI used this Whisper API in two really cool ways. First, they used it to transcribe broken words so they could train their computer models to understand how people talk. Imagine it as teaching a robot to speak by showing it a lot of examples of people talking. Second, they use Whisper to transcribe speech that their computer models generate. This made the computer-generated speech sound more like a real human, making it sound natural and accurate. It's like training a robot to mimic your voice perfectly. Whisper is incredibly versatile and can be used for various things, such as turning recordings of meetings, lectures, and events into written notes. It can also create subtitles for videos, convert books and podcasts into audio, and power voice assistants like Siri or Alexa. OpenAI's use of Whisper to convert speech into text showcases how open-source software can be used to create innovative products and services. Now, once they made the connection between spoken word and text, they then used a common AI technology called deep learning to take it even further. Deep learning is a type of machine learning inspired by the human brain structure. Deep learning employs artificial neural networks to grasp complex patterns from data. To train a neural network, you need a substantial data set. In this case, OpenAI used a vast collection of text and audio data. The neural network learned to connect text with audio, essentially understanding how to turn words into spoken sounds. Once trained, this neural network can take text and generate matching audio. OpenAI's training dataset was enormous and diverse, containing books, articles, podcasts, and more. The neural network absorbed the nuances of human speech from this rich data, enabling it to create remarkably human-like audio from mere text. Now for the magic question. With this new release, did OpenAI just move closer to ultimate AGI, artificial general intelligence? OpenAI's goal is to develop AGI, there's no denying that. But with this release, here is what OpenAI had to say on the topic. Their goal is simple, achieve AGI in a safe and beneficial way. To do this, they're taking a gradual approach to achieve this. By releasing their technology in stages, they can make improvements over time and enhance safety measures. This step-by-step -step strategy becomes even more crucial than ever with the release of these advanced voice and vision models. Take the recent advancement in voice technology. They've created a system that can generate highly realistic, synthetic voices using just a few seconds of real speech. While this technology has great potential for creativity and accessibility, it also brings new risks. They do have a concern about misusing it, like impersonating others or committing fraud. To address these concerns, OpenAI is specifically deploying this voice technology for a specific purpose, and that's strictly voice chat for now. They've worked closely with professional voice actors to develop this technology, ensuring responsible use. Furthermore, they're collaborating with partners like Spotify, who are using this technology to translate podcasts into different languages, maintaining the authenticity of the podcasters' voices. OpenAI has come out and also said that they are dealing with challenges in vision-based models. These models can sometimes create false images or make important decisions based on images, especially in critical areas. Before rolling out these models more widely, OpenAI conducted thorough testing with security experts and a diverse group of testers. This research helped them establish key guidelines for responsible usage. So let me just say this, seeing how cautious they have become with the technology released in this update, I'm going to come out and say it. Yes, I think this is a massive step forward towards the path to AGI. Disagree? Then let me hear from you in the comments. Want to see what else happened in the AI world? Then you definitely need to check out this video.